Here's a, a nice example of a restored single wheel slot machine made by uh, Kale Brothers or the Cayley Brothers in Chicago. Uh, date on this is uh, turn of the century, 1907, 1910. Um, you see the Watts nickel plated castings, uh, considered to be probably the most ornate of the single wheel countertop machines. Kale was known for having very uh, stylistic uh, designs, uh, very elaborate and ornate castings. As you see here, the, uh, the coin head being um, very ornate and very deeply detailed uh, here with the figures. Also, even just the uh, detail and adornment to um, going around the uh, handle and the um, incised uh, C and B for Kale Brothers. You see here that there is a um, window that shows flags to indicate which coins were, uh, which colors were played, which coins were uh, were introduced into the machine, and there is a um, basically an early uh, escalator system that allows operators to monitor to make sure that people are actually using coins and not cheating. Uh, very highly stylized uh, Art Nouveau uh, center wheel, which is uh, very attractive and uh, original to the uh, to the machine. Uh, we'll go ahead and play it. This is uh, similar to almost a roulette game in that you can choose what colors you want to bet. And if you want to put a coin into every slot, you may. Uh, the odds are that you're going to lose money in that proposition, uh, but uh, you're welcome to do it. So basically the way it works is if you, you bet a nickel into any of the slots, and if it lands on red or black, you would get back 10 cents or two nickels. If it lands on a yellow space, you would get five nickels for 25 cents, or 10 nickels if it lands on white, or 20 if it lands on the green. And as you can imagine, there are red and black spaces highly prevalent, with yellows less frequent, and then whites even less frequent than that. And in fact, only two of the $1 payoff uh, signs on the wheel. So we'll go ahead and play it. Let's. Uh, Let's go long on this one. We'll try just the yellow and the white this time. We uh, push this side lever and that enters the coins into the uh, coin head. Then we push down on the handle on the side. And we see that the uh, there's two flags pop up and we see that the wheel stopped on red. And since we bet yellow and white, we don't get payoff. Let's do it a little differently this time. We'll go ahead and actually bet on red and black. Put the coins in, push the handle down, and that time we landed on black, so we heard our two nickels returning our, uh, basically returning what our bet was. So we, uh, we got it back. Let's see if we can, uh, we'll try long again this time on uh, those two. And push the handle. Ah, and it came up red, unfortunately, so no payoff that time. So again, this is the Kale Brothers, our baby, uh, rather uh, scarce and uh, considered rare, only a handful of these models known, uh, highly stylized, turn of the century, single wheel, uh, five-way gambling machine.